Hey guys, it's Matt. First, want to thank Khan for filming this as he walked the streets of his city in Turkey called Izmir, which is on the western side of the country, the far western side. If you're driving or just listening, it's nice to see the video that Khan filmed here, but it's people just walking around the streets with masks. You'll be able to understand exactly what's going on. And I'm going to turn this video, if I can, into a one world system discussion as soon as I can. But you don't have to see this if you're driving or just listening. You'll get the uh, gist of what is going on here as Khan walks the streets with, of course, 100%, almost, almost 100% mask. And he filmed this recently. So let me shut up and I'll come in a little bit later. Thanks, Khan. It's almost like they're in a state of hypnosis. I mean, if you're looking for a real breakdown, look no further, bro. Yep, here's your reality breakdown right here. Everybody's messed up. Everybody. Okay, look no further, man. It's like, just think about the psychological effect that could have on someone. I mean, for a year and a half now, everyone, everyone is messed up and their excuses. Oh, we get fined up, right? No, I got fined like 58 times, but I'm still not wearing that shit. And I'm not gonna put that on my face. It's, it's submission. It's nothing else but submission. See, this is the downtown area. And uh, when they sit down to eat, they pull their masks down. And if they wanna get into somewhere, they put their masks up. And when they sit down, <laughs> When they sit down, they pull it down. I'm okay, guys, in preparation for this video, I watched this a few times. And just to say one thing to Khan, Khan almost implies during this video that like there's something unique going on with Turkey or Izmir. And I agree that it is much worse now than the United States and other countries, but actually far better than certain places like Australia and London or places in the EU that still have curfews, which is my understanding. So Khan, understand that what you're showing here, like Boston, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington DC, San Francisco, every major blue state city was the exact same thing from roughly the middle of April of 2020 through say to June 1st. Now it is uh, changing now because of the effort to get hundreds of millions of people to rent the movie, the Action Jackson Nation movie. When you have hundreds of millions of people who went out to rent the movie, then you know the system has to give something back. Of course, the masks are dropping in the United States because of the of the V. Um, but Khan, I mean, this is you know, and it's not just the West. People report to me. Uh, from uh, they, they tell me what's going on in Singapore, in uh, Seoul, in Thailand, every major city around the world, with a few exceptions, which are part of the control, the control elements of this gigantic one world AI, you know, sentient world simulation experiment, with the exception of controls like Sweden, the whole world's been in this situation. Um, although, of course, uh, well, we'll I'll, under, I'll talk, let's just watch more of Khan's video. I want to talk later about how obvious a one world system is and how I don't understand how even channels I really like seem to talk about countries as if they're completely on their own, which I just don't understand. The one world system is proven a hundred times over just by this. And we have a hundred other examples, even if we didn't have this that shows there's a one world system with a small council making decisions basically for everybody in the world. No flags, no borders, no countries. To me, that's a joke. Yeah, they decide little things, but in terms of the big stuff like this, oh no, they'll get their marching orders from the Illuminati window, just like everybody else in this world. I mean, and they don't even ask why, look, look bro, shields, mask, everything. This area here, this is downtown. And as you can see, even in the cars, 
They're riding alone by themselves. There's no way to explain this shit. When they put it down, <laughs> they eat and they think the wires don't affect them. Look, young, old, everyone, even children. Now, again, I think Khan filmed this recently in Izmir, but it's still, it's actually a world better than what people are reporting to me from certain parts of Australia. Australia takes the cake in terms of the reality breakdown, if you ask me. They, a certain Western Australia or certain parts of Australia bigger than Texas will get a few cases. Not, I didn't say 10,000 deaths, cases, a few, like two cases. And they'll go into some sort of lockdown for an area the size of Texas or larger because of a few reported cases. And somehow 99% or whatever of the population goes along with it. I just... I mean, here, this is bad, Izmir, regarding the mask. Of course, it's horrible, but people are out and about. <laughs> it's like there are places that are worse. Um, guys, would, let me just continue this in this. I'm going to talk to the segment of the truth community that believes countries are real. I don't understand that. Even little kids, man. Two-year-old, three-year-old, everyone's like that. Okay, right now in Philadelphia, um, similar to what was just shown, the, because of everybody renting the movie and the V, the, as you the people going into the stores, I guess let's you know my metric has been Wawa. Uh, Wawa has been higher mask than most other stores that I've been in. So even even like sixty percent now for Wawa, no, that's the little convenience store, no mask for the patrons. But when you go into these stores. All the workers are still wearing them. All your waiters and waitresses are still wearing them. And they've all been, they've all rented the movie. They've all been V'd. Matt, shut up and let Khan talk. We hear from you enough, Matt. Okay, I'll shut up. Shut up, Matt. Yep. Inside, outside, everywhere. They get tired. They pull it down sometimes. But uh, overall, see... Look, it's almost become like a, you know how you get in the car and uh, don't put your seatbelt up, you feel that emptiness, that's what's happening to them. And I think they kind of like it too. They've grown to like it. It's crazy. They stopped questioning after a while. Well, they never questioned in the first place. Even riding around in the car. All by themselves, look. All messed up. Everyone, man. Everyone. And <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I've made like hundreds of videos about this. And it's worse here in downtown. But as you go out in like to the ghetto, uh, they comply less. They don't care because they have to make a living. So, you got some exceptions here, some rebels like me. I got, I got fined like 58 times about this, right? And I'm not, I'm not going to pay him. I'm not going to wear that shit either. But uh, look, please show this on your channel. Please let people know what we're going through here. It's absolute madness, Matt. Please, bro. You cut this part out but no way Khan. i'm not going to cut that part out you're a cool dude this is the best part but thank you Khan. um let's go back here um guys yeah ch check i wanted to talk about if i can find the right part here yeah right here he walks by these these three this is just human behavioral anomalies that have come out from us going through this thing where you go are they even human you know, the, 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 let me just show you and then I'll tell you what I wanted to talk about here as he passes these three talking. Everyone is messed up and their excuses. Oh, we get fined up, right? Okay. Everybody's messed up. Here's, Everybody. Let me get back to this part. 
Come fact, on. That could happen. Here he comes. Everyone is mad. Okay. Now, these three people are talking with their, with their masks on. See, this is, what, this, is, uh, this is one of the main pet peeves I've had in what we had to go through here in Philadelphia, which, again, I don't think is much different until recently than what Khan's talking about in Izmir and other places around the world. But why would three people choose to talk with their masks on at two or three feet away? And again, assuming each person here, of course, believes everything the news is telling them that the paper's telling them, why wouldn't they just choose to back up three or four more feet and take their mask down and talk to someone and be able to see the face and the smiles and the this is an inhuman quality um, that has seemed to go along with the compliance of this thing and it's not you know again con we, we i see this all the time why not if i if it were me standing there where that guy is i would just back up and like why would you just say well why are we have masks on let's just if you're uncomfortable let's just create some separation but i want to see you you know but this is what we observe it's totally bizarre and see this is the downtown area and uh in terms of the one world system conversation uh just wanted to again i do this every so often reach out to others in this community that make videos i just don't understand anybody that would make a video with the assumption, at least for the big things that happen in the world, that the country is completely independent, that the flag, the border, the country, they're not beholden to anyone. Um, you know, they're sending their representatives to Davos and to the G7 and to the Build a Burger group, or Build a Better Burger group or whatever. Guys, one point about that, that's not, that's not the council that runs everything, in my opinion. Do I know? I haven't been to Eyes Wide Shut parties. But see, when, when Alex Jones can send his camera crew out there to film people going in and out of Builder Burger, Build a Better Burger, or Davos, Switzerland, or the uh, Bohemian Grove, or any place there's cameras, that ain't it. Isn't it? We know that by now. You know, how many people run this world? I don't know. But it's a council meeting you ain't never going to hear about. There's not going to be no Alex Jones film crew standing outside. When I used to watch Alex Jones uh, years ago, I remember there was one, it was general, it was that general that was in a compromising position um, uh, in Iraq. Remember he was, he, he was with his uh, young assistant, you know, whatever is, I don't, please don't even bother commenting what, whatever his name was, you know, what I'm talking about one of the main generals for the Iraqi occupation, the Alex Jones film, he's jogging around, <laughs> around the, wherever they were, it was like Bilderberger, but it was like Davos, Switzerland or something. What he's jogging around the streets, <laughs> the Alex Jones film crew is running after him, running after him as they, uh, as he's jogging, try, I mean, come on, the, the, the real group that rules the world is not going to, they're not going to uh, announce to film crews where they're, where they're setting up. Let me just show this. I'll just talk over it and turn the volume down. Um, they're not, I don't know if it's, is it 50 people? Is it 50 families? I don't know. We don't know. We're never going to know. I don't want to know. We can, it's so obvious though. The point is, um, how do you make a YouTube video talking about a certain country even Russia, as it's completely, it's on its own. Like it doesn't, it's not beholden to the one world system. It's so obvious now that everything is beholden to the one world system. Even if we didn't have this, the C thing, you could talk about a hundred other examples. Why was China chosen to build absolutely everything for everybody, every major manufacturer, almost, almost everything you flip over? I know there are exceptions. I hear you crying out. From your bathtub i know there are exceptions obviously but it's 95 percent china why would every major corporation pick china there's no other low-cost labor anywhere in the world there's no other low-cost labor if countries were real that could woo a factory no place in africa that would be dying to have cisco system come in or or where whoever um, you know, well, Matt, where did, not everybody can make can make those chips. You, Africa and China, China is set up for that. Fine, if China is, is set themselves up for the electronics, the clean rooms, there are a lot of other things that are manufactured. The last time I, I flipped over my ceramic cat, it said made in China. 
My ceramic cat. Bootsy's scared of the damn thing. Runs the other direction. That Why isn't there aren't other countries with low-cost labor that would be soliciting for those bids? No, China was chosen part of the One World Plan. All this thing about China becoming this, China becoming that, that Nixon reaching out to China or what, you know, I don't know what the story was, you know, Nixon opens up China or whatever that about that time, I don't know whether it was 10 years or 15 years after Mao, it was basically a country of bicycles and they got two suits, two things they could wear. One's gray, one's blue. And they didn't copy the U.S. Civil War. They just had all blue, like a potato sack, and they had all gray. And in about, I don't know, like 50 years, they went to the leading high-tech skyscrapers. That's impossible for a country that's all bicycles and wearing gray and blue potato sacks. It's all they had to become what they've become if it wasn't in the cards, if it wasn't chosen, if it wasn't a world, one world system selecting China. So, I mean, China by itself gives away a one world system. And how many other examples do we have? But nothing takes the cake like this. The level of compliance, um, and it, it's actually, it goes way beyond a one world system conversation because it gets into the human being download conversation. Even in a one world system, if things were real, if all you had to work with in figuring out reality is what's in your toy box. They told you, you know, we used to have a toy box as a kid. You'd throw every piece of shit in there. Wooden, I had a wooden tractor, believe it or not, it was passed down from my uncle. I had to stretch Armstrong. You stretch that mother effer out to try to rip his arms off, but he was so damn tough you couldn't do it. As a seven-year-old, little puppets, I had a Charlie McCarthy puppet. You want to talk about creepy. And scare the shit out of you. It make the clown from Poltergeist that hid under the bed seem friendly. Um, I had G.I. Joe dolls, everything in this. And I had stuffed animals, everything in this toy box. They want you in the toy box to understand known reality. I say, oh, you can, you truthers, go figure it out. Just show you this. Matt, don't freeze the video. Just play it. All right. You can figure it out as long as you're in your toy box of known reality. We don't want you to get outside talking about things like, like, how could the compliance in all major cities? People report to me about Thailand, Singapore. It's all the same way. When the V comes, when hundreds of millions of people locally rent the movie, then the masks will have to come down. It's just, it, wh why did everybody go do it then? Of course, they'll have to give that back to these zombies to a degree. But you couldn't put the world, even if it is a complete one world system, with one guy on a throne somewhere, one girl on a throne somewhere though the the it's the um the queen from um what is it winter's war and the, the golden queen and the silver queen what is what is that called huntsman yeah that the if it's even if it's the silver queen and the gold queen <laughs> from from huntsman winter's war there's just there's one or two people that rule everything you still couldn't implement this level of compliance as quickly as you did without reality buttons and levers and downloads and things we don't understand it's just not possible it's not possible. Everybody started going along with it just from a few news stories. Yeah, they everybody had about heard about one case of one somebody's uncle's sister's brother's cousin's aunt great aunt's nephew got real sick, and then oh boy, they heard about it's a Goldilocks reality, not for us, on how it operates with the masses, and then within a matter of weeks. Every major city in the world started to look the exact same way in terms of compliance. So in terms of talking to the truth channels that are talking about countries making their own decisions, I'm not, I mean, it's ridiculous to even argue that. It's, it's beyond a one world system because it, it's a download system. It's, it's, a, it's a method of compliance for the masses, the whole earth over with reality buttons and levers and ways of doing things we don't understand call it magic, call it 5G, call it a combination of both. So it's beyond a one world system. In other words, if if you're talking about a one world system, but you're still looking in your toy box of known reality to figure things out, I still think you're behind. You're not where you should be. And half of the truth community or, or more is not even at the one world system. They think countries like China are making their own decisions. I don't understand this. So if you're so then if you're spending time talking about a one world system, they're fine with that because you're still far from the truth in terms of 
the, the, the technology, the, the mind control, the magic that's going on that could get a world to look like this, with a few exceptions, a few controls in the experiment, in the AI sentient one world simulation, like Sweden. Sweden. Matt, Matt, don't you know Sweden is its own country uh, because they just didn't do this. They decided to, to not go along. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, a poster child for the EU decided to, to do their own thing. Yeah, no, that wasn't an obvious control. And the se a sentient world simulation, the Whopper, you see war games? The Whopper, the Whopper needs controls to understand human behavior, NPC behavior, organic portal behavior. It needs controls. So, you, you know, Tanzania and the film crews that have gone in there, I don't think is a control because the guy interviewed, he's like, yeah, a few people, a few, not many people here are wearing masks in Tanzania. And, um, we're just going about our business because we have to for survival. You know, we can't just take a day off. Grandma upstairs starves if I take a day off in Tanzania. Just, and then as, isn't it incredible, though, as they went about their business, they didn't have any cases. Then nothing happened. But it's, it's such a discriminating V. It's such a um, elitist V, ex discriminating. It's a, it's a V that says, I don't want to go into this country. We'll leave it alone. You want to leave that country of one V talking to the other V as particles that could just camp on the suitcases and shit? We, you're going to leave that country? Oh, we'll leave them alone. We've been there. Oh, Vietnam? Yeah, leave it alone. And then through, through nine or ten months. <laughs> Let's just have nothing happening. No, no, uh, Hong Kong? Through eight months, eh, leave it alone. It's, it's a discriminating V. Decides, as, as almost in a, with a sentience, where it wants to go around the world. And certain countries, it said, you know what? I, you know, if we could, if we could get a hidden mic on that, on that V, in, in their in their Bilderberger, the, the V's themselves get together and have little little meetings in Bilderbergers and Davos, and said, let, and they said probably around uh, May of 2020, they said, let's get, we're gonna get. We're going to go into two places hard and get them. The V's said, we're going to get Italy. Italy? No, Italy. And we're going to get New York City. Let's get them. So they just went and like little little creatures in a Pixar movie jumped onto suitcases and people. They, they knew because it's a sentient V. It knew where those suitcases were going. And they just they just camped on. If you had a if you ever had night vision goggles that could see the V, there were millions of them camping onto the suitcases, heading to I Italy and New York, and we're gonna get them. But shouldn't some of us go to Hong Kong? No, they got protection in the noodles. Leave those bastards alone. Anyway, guys, get a little stupid. As a, let's just quote Seal, on the way out. Seal, who somehow dated Heidi Klum in her prime. If we're ever gonna survive. We're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. Yeah. Thanks, Con. See you guys.